Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mo and I have a lot of stuff that have been getting sent from different companies for free to like kind of review and I have not gotten the chance to do, for example, I have like this little light thing, I have another thing, but one thing that I'm really, really excited about actually is <laughs> this thing over here. Um, it's a UHF wireless microphone. So it's one of those systems where you have a receiver on top of the camera, then you have two lavalier microphones that you kind of put on the side um, of your actor or person that you're trying to record, get audio off of, for like, for example. I'm not sure why I said that really complicated, but it's microphones, guys, and it's wireless. And I've been really excited about this. This is going for, I think, $250 on Amazon. I just got it sent to me to kind of review it for you guys. So we'll see what happens. I kind of need a knife, though. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh, I should be careful what you ask for, because people will throw knives at you. All right, so um, yeah, can, can you not throw any more knives at me please, thanks. All right, so let's talk about this Comica microphones. These are apparently really good because I, I looked at the reviews on Amazon, they're really, really good microphone companies. They sell, it's like the video macro, the little small microphone. Um, this, I used to use that when I first started working. Now I use a shotgun microphone. So here's my setup right now. I'm currently using a uh, EOS 100 Mark II with a shotgun microphone. It's a Sennheiser. All right, so now to get this thing open, it looks like a really nice bag over here. Um, it has a couple of compartments, one and two. Ooh, nice. So inside the first pockets, we have, looks like, uh, I think they call dead cats or something. Dead cats? It doesn't sound right. It's really called dead cat, y'all. That's, that's really messed up. Dead cat? Like I said that, and then as I said it out loud, I heard it, and it doesn't sound right. Like. Why are we calling these things dead cats? And then I said, let me look it up. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've been saying it wrong this whole time. So I wrote dead cat and I'm getting these things. Like, it's not a joke. They're, they're actually calling these things dead cats. Anyways, so I got a couple of dead cats. <laughs> I also have these things, which is the clip that you, goes on to the thing. Uh, I keep calling the thing. God damn it. What is it called? Let's call it a thing. The thing that, that you hook up to, to the side of your pants and then the wire comes up, the lapel mic comes up. So these are the little clips that, 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 that go with that. Let's see. These are probably the lapel mics, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Wow, they look really legit, dude. So I have a lapel mic that I got like for really cheap $20 off of Amazon and I actually really like it. I've been using it for a while. It, is, it sounds really, really nice. Now it does not look like this, like this 3.5 millimeter looks really, really legit. And this clip here, wow, this, this, this looks really nice. It's a really thick wire and it's like the perfect length. You don't want it to be too long. Like most people are like, oh, this is too short. No, actually because this is supposed to go as far back as your back pocket. Like that's the maximum it will go. You'll not put this thing anywhere else. You're not gonna like keep it in your socks. And here's a second microphone. I don't have to open that. This is like an auxiliary cable, 3.5 to 3.5. It comes with a lot of stuff. I mean, I would imagine so, cause this is like not a cheap kit. This is like $200, I think. I have to look up the price. $240, that's a lot of money. This is a 3.5 to um, XLR. It's actually really useful. And this looks like a USB, yeah, micro USB. And all this plastic. This looks like a tripod mount. This is a book, it needs that. And then look at this, I wanna show you this. Looks really nice and official. Like in, it comes in this like a uh, protective foam and this protective foam gel comes inside of this case. So if you're going out on a job, you look really official, you know? Let's see, is there anything else in here that I don't know about? Nope. It's a really nice case, I'm not gonna lie. I like it a lot. 
I want to switch over to this microphone and see how it sounds like. Uh, I hope it's charged already, or does it need batteries? It needs batteries, and batteries are not included. All right, so I got batteries, and instead of hooking this up to the camera, actually, yeah, instead of hooking it up to the camera, I think I might just hook it up to my um, H4N Pro, which I still haven't reviewed yet as well. Uh, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. Bear with me. I just moved recently to Seattle from New York. So it's like 3,000 miles later. I haven't had the chance to sit down. I used to have like a whole setup in my old house. And now I'm like sitting in my kitchen, dining room area. So bear with me. I'll get there. That turned on and it looks good. Let me see the other one. I'll put the other battery in there and see what happens. I like this because like it's like really unique. You open it this way, and then you go that way. It's I've never seen that before. So that way you don't lose this little back thing because they know they know I would lose it. They know me. They know me all too well. All right, and then you press the power button. Voila. Group A. Oh, as soon as I turned this one on, it showed me on the receiver that um, for group A, so as soon as I turn this thing on, um, this is the receiver here, and it shows you that A is full bars, which means it picks up A, and it shows you the battery level on A as well. So that's pretty well. I have never used this before, so I am going along with you guys, trying to figure it out as I go along. So I am guessing that obviously this is the one picking up that one. So this is the receiver and that's the actual microphone. So I am going to put this lapel mic. Wow. What's really cool is that once it goes in, it says line in or microphone. Obviously you're not getting a line in, you're getting a microphone in. Line in, I guess, would be like if I want to put this on... Uh, another system that already has microphones and I just want to get that line like from the speakers or whatever into this thing and then from this thing to the camera in case the camera is too far so I just filmed the play not too long ago and the issue was the camera had to be really far and their audio wasn't that great um, coming off from the speakers so I had like a camera hooked up to the thing recording the audio was really dumb instead I could have just hooked this thing through a line straight into the board system It'll be picking it up and transmitting it into my camera. That would have been perfect. Um, but yeah, and like the connection is supposed to be secure or whatever because like you can actually turn it in, but I'm not seeing how it's turning. Oh, I see. It just picked up. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Wow, that is really tight. That's nice. So technically, I'm not going to put it in my pants right now. I'm just going to put it in my hoodie. And this lapel, I'm just going to put it right here, not too far. Oh, you can actually hear it. So I want to actually get you guys to hear this audio. So I'm going to be replacing my shotgun microphone with this receiver. So I'm going to just take off my lapel. That, how does that sound, guys? Now you should be able to hear me. I want to make sure that it's picking up. Hello, way, way too loud. I need to bring that down like a tad because that is way too loud. The good thing about the C100 Mark II, you can come this way, honey. Let me show them. No, like come, come the other way, come around me. You got it. Thank you, sweetie. Not too close because you're not going to be in focus. Are you in focus? If you're not in focus, you can always like move this string around here. You see this? You see my hair? How do you know if you're in focus or not? It's a great question. <laughs> It's a great question. If you zoom in right here, and then, and then, there you go. Mm. Now you're in focus. You can zoom back out. You don't have to be so zoomed in. All right, you ready? Mm. Okay. So the great thing about this is uh, you can control how loud it is. And hello. 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 Okay. okay. Right now, you hear me on the lapel microphone. I hope I'm not too loud. I try to put it down as much as I possibly can. And now I'm looking at the levels. I feel like I'm almost speaking. 
So I'm going to take it easy. Like I'm not going to scream like I usually do. I'm going to be nice and calm. That way you don't, you know, hurt your eardrums. So let me know how this one sounds. Is it better? Is it worse? And the good thing about this one is that I'm literally wearing this microphone. I'm nowhere near the camera. And no matter how far I am from the camera, you should still be able to pick me up fine. So just to prove this to you, I am going to hold on. I'm going to get somebody to sit in for me like this elephant here. He's going to talk to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way to the bedroom, which is about 20 feet away. And I want you to tell if, if, if I sound any different, if I get lower or higher, or if you hear any distortion. So I am going to have this elephant here and I'm going to just walk away from the camera altogether and the receiver and let me know if I sound any different. But I'm right now 25 feet away from my original microphone uh, receiver and I'm literally just walking around the apartment and I'm connected to the main camera in the living room. I am no longer connected to the camera that I'm holding right now. That's just my DSLR. It's just picking up my video, no audio. I'm gonna try to sync it up later. But this whole time, like as if this is you're an actor and you're following them around and they're walking down the block or something, you know, uh, 20 feet away, 50 feet away, 60 feet away, you'll still be able to pick them up just fine. How was that? Was it, was it nice? Is it better quality than my shotgun? Um, is it not? Apparently, if I'm not mistaken, the company claims that this thing can go as far as 130 feet. How are we gonna try this? So the idea is to act, we're gonna actually stand in this field and I'm gonna try to walk back as far as I possibly can and see if I start to cut out. My wife has headphones on and she can let me know if she hears me or not. But other than that, we'll find out back in the editing. Right now, I'm like a foot away from the camera. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten feet away. And this is how I sound. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 feet away. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 feet away. back now it's good all right so this was the outside test the outdoor test i wanted to see if it actually worked from 130 feet if it worked great if not then it's really the fault of the microphone of nothing else i'll see you guys back in the apartment because it's freezing out here bye all right guys so i just got home and i quickly looked over the footage and i think it stops working at like around 30 or 40 feet which is actually not that great. To be honest with you, I'm kind of disappointed to say the least. Uh, the microphone has really clean audio from when I was listening earlier from the first day I was filming this video. It sounds really nice, really clean, but it seems like whenever you go out of range, it just stops working. I feel like 30 feet is good enough if you're recording a YouTube video and you wanna like be free from the whole setup from the camera and you wanna back up for like a 10, 20 feet, you should be okay. But if as far as 130 feet as they claim, I don't think that's really true. Um, I mean, when I was, uh, I, I'll show you this clip really quickly. I'm going to go stand right next to that car and see if this microphone can pick me up. That's the goal here. Now it's running, yes, now it's running, yes. Is it good? Oh, yeah, those things are happening on the camera, yeah, it's good. So the, the things are happening on the camera now? Yeah, it's working, it's working. So, it's working. so you can see me right now in the camera and you can hear me. Yes. So... We just had some technical difficulties. I went all the way downstairs, which is a little bit over 100 feet, and it worked, but the problem is it's not really reliable. It's on and off, on and off. I'm not sure if it's something in the setting that I'm not clicking. I went through the book, even though I told you guys I don't really read the book. I went through the book again to see if there's anything that I can change, and there's no thing really that I can change. It seems like everything seems to be working fine. The batteries are good, but it just cuts on and off, on and off. And to me, that's a problem, because if I'm not behind the camera from all the way out there, uh, I don't know. At least if I'm behind the camera, I got my headphones on. I can just like tell whoever's out there in the field, give me a second. I got to see what the problem is and like refix that or reconfigure the microphone. 
But if I'm, I'm the one recording, the mic is on me and I'm really far away, it's, it's really a problem. I, I don't know if I can rely on this for hundreds of feet, like, as this thing claims. I can definitely rely on this for up to 30 feet, 35 feet, 40 feet maximum um, in perfect conditions. Um, so what do you guys think? I mean, I can't tell you to buy this or not buy this, but if you came here because you wanted to see like what was happening, what this mic is like, now you know. This was the wireless microphone system by Comica and that was the review. If you have any questions or comments or maybe I did something wrong, please feel free to let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to fix that in the future. Otherwise, that's it. I'm Mo, until next time, peace.